so hey, John and Hank, uh, and Nerd Fighters, and everybody who will watch this video. My name is TJ Murris here, and I'm going to be talking to you today about the Travis Roy Foundation. So Travis Roy was a collegiate hockey player and a top prospect at that. He was a 20-year-old freshman who 11 seconds into his first shift suffered a neck injury where he cracked his C4 and C5. Then, 11 seconds into your first game, it's over. And it was at that moment that I realized I was paralyzed. So John and Hank, you guys said that you wanted us to show you our charities in action. Unfortunately, the Travis Roy Foundation wasn't able to get back to me in time because it was such short notice. Um, so I had to take matters into a, my own hands in a way. And the only way I could think to do that, other than asking somebody, was to be one myself for 24 hours. And this is that story. So for the morning, I decided that I wanted to get myself out of bed and do normal things. So I got up, I put myself in my chair, and I went and did the dishes. For task number one, I'm doing the dishes, which normally would take me about two seconds to start. But unfortunately, there were some dishes in the rack, so I had to put them away. And uh, I'm down here, and here's the view to where I have to get the bowl. It's, uh... Yeah, it's not my favor. This is going to be a long day. Still, that wasn't the most labor-intensive part of the day. I mean, that five-minute chore did take a little while longer, but that wasn't a big deal. The main problem was with getting ready for the day. You can tell I didn't properly plan because uh, there's my dad's stuff, there's the shampoo and conditioner, and there's my stuff. Taking a shower took forever. Just to get in took too long. I was in there for way too long, and getting out really hurt, actually. It was impossible to do anything normal because you had no power from your waist down. It it was terrible. To be quite honest, I, I hope I never have to go through that again. Then, it became time to leave. There's only going to be one point today at which I will not be in the wheelchair. And that is simply because of how I have to get out of my building. This is why. Quite frankly, that would have been impossible, so I decided that that would be the one point at which I would get up from my wheelchair. The second I was out of range from the steps, I got back in, and I went about my way. And at this point, I went down to the Square One Mall. So now I'm here at, uh, at the Square One Mall. And uh, I'm going to complete my afternoon part of the day, which is to go into a store, purchase something, um, basically order food, and then go back to, to being in the house for the rest of the day to basically move around as a paraplegic in the apartment once more. I tried to take some good video of this, but it was kind of hard because you, you don't want people to know that you're filming them, so you kind of have to keep it very low-key. Think of more inconvenient of a place. Most of these stores are just completely inaccessible. If there's one, you know, frail little person in the way, I can't get by until they move. Most people are not willing to move out of the way. It's unbelievable. Imagine somebody who, who honestly cannot get around except for maybe a, a sedan with, uh, with hand controls. I would be sitting here in my back seat, there's my front, and I'm trying to pull in my wheelchair. I mean, these people need all the help they can get. So by the time I left, it was about 
4.30 and I was absolutely drained. I had no energy. The battery on my camera was dead. And I literally just drove back into my hometown, parked my car, and just relaxed for about an hour and a half. Because to be honest, being in the wheelchair all day and using my arms for most of the afternoon had completely worn me out. I had no energy left. I was cranky. I was tired. My arms were sore. My left arm was pr was practically useless, and I would have to use it for the next couple of hours. It's things like this that make us realize why we need the Travis Roy Foundation. One half of their funding goes towards research, which helps find treatments and cures for paralysis. The other half goes towards grants and allowances for people who need you know, special wheelchairs, who need ramps for their houses, who need uh, lifts for their cars, who need handbrakes, who need accessibility so that they can live on their own. I mean, this is just basic stuff that we take for granted and that these people need to fight for, and we can give it to them. So why say that we do? I, I cannot believe that people have to go through this every day. Because honestly, if I had to continuously do that every day, I don't think I could do it. And that's why I, I can honestly say that I believe that paraplegics and quadriplegics are the strongest people in the world. So please, donate your money. Donate your time. Go to TravisRoyFoundation.org. Find out more about this. Help out so that these people can live a normal life. So that these people can be independent. Like we get to be independent every day.